Welcome to the Axiom. New file detected. Launching file. Hello world. My name is Leo, and today we are continuing the Sea of Stars file. Where we last left off, we had uh, gone to Wraith Island with the pirate crew, and we visited... We are currently in the town of Lucent. Uh, everyone can't leave, and we are going to be waiting a few days to do the, uh, the to fight the Wraith. So, full disclosure, I have already played the next like hour or so. Well, it was an hour long recording, but like, I I played the next little section up basically up till the next campfire. And the reason why I am replaying it is because that recording, uh, for some reason, my microphone, instead of defaulting to the mic you're listening to right now, it defaulted to the controller microphone, which, uh, that recording was awful. So I just decided to replay the th whole thing. I did everything, um, I reloaded my save from, uh, Brisk and played through this past little bit um the only thing that i did differently uh was i now have a berry jam to give to that painting but first i'm going to replay <laughs> this championship game of wheels it took me quite a few tries to beat this my first time let's see what happens my winning combo was the archer and the mage so let's see. let's see if i can beat it slightly quicker this time Yes, okay. First try, that was close. That was cutting it really close. If their bulwark would have been one higher, it wouldn't have that that attack wouldn't have gone through. Okay. Yeah, it took me like three or four tries the first time I played that. And then uh so let me do the berry jam thing really quick. Whoops. What do you want? A berry jam. Is this from my brother? Oh, thank you. My treasure is yours. Got another rainbow conch, and then I had also gone exploring through the town a little bit, and I found a couple of things. Like, I found this. Um... And there's like a ghost up here. Hello. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, oh, hello. Have you seen my turbo cookie? I could really go about eating it right now. Uh, I have a cookie jar, but no, unfortunately I do not have your turbo cookie. And then... I also found, I went across the bridge. And you can go in here. And there's a treasure over here. Another rainbow conch. Whoever the collector is, is gonna be real happy. And then we can't get up here, but I'm thinking that these stumps might, like, let us transport places or something. And then I had talked to this dude. Have you seen the ghost at the western end of the village? I'm not going anywhere near that thing. Um... Okay, so yeah, there's nothing else. Looks like I missed some crops, maybe? Okay, so now that we've done all of that, we can go and uh, sleep for the night. Yes, I am ready to rest. Oh, I should have saved. Oh, well. A few days of rest later.
So you're really going to buy a ghost ship with the magic coin we fetched? That's the plan. Hey, after the cleansing here is done, we'll be free to do whatever we want, right? Maybe we could sail with them for a while. So, last time, I I had a hard time getting Cliché's uh, voice down, but I think I have, a, I have an idea for what I want her voice to be. Possibly. That sounds like fun! Why, I reckon a bigger vessel will require more hands indeed! <laughs> I could sure go for being a sailor cook. No, a pirate chef! Sure has a nice ring, do it? You're more than welcome aboard. Anyway, anyway, the captain said that the three of you had... Valtrade. Aye, apologies, Captain. Well, if luck would have it, might be fun to sail together for a little while. Just maybe... My, my, my. Remember ten seconds ago when absolutely nothing happened? It was so boring. I wish something special occurred for once. Next round's on me. Woohoo! That was... The Dweller of Woe. So it's true. This poor villager is just going to sleepwalk into the mansion and... Unless... Unless... Forget it! You can't save that villager! Y'all right, Captain? Ain't sounding like yourself. So, yeah, I, uh... <laughs> I had a hard time getting the, um... Uh cliche's voice down and I made it canon because she's now having trouble with her voice too and I mean it be a useless endev endeavor I it be right now how about you follow the captain's advice and here and don't try anything stupid we're going but you can't! The barrier is impenetrable! You have to wait for the eclipse! Well, we won't sit here while someone is about to be eaten alive. You don't understand. The mind dweller, the mind control spell connects the dweller to its prey. You're not strong enough to stop that villager! Captain? We'll see about that. Let's go, Zale. Wait for me. Ahoy, Captain. Something need doing? I just need to check on the raft. Why not send Valtrade? Some fresh air will do me some good. <laughs> of course, Captain. As you wish, Captain. The three of you stay here until I return. And do try to liven up the place. These people be needing it. Aye, aye, Captain. Time to improvise. The cursed woods are to the north of Lucent. We should use the eastern exit. Alright, and I should save before I do this. Actually, what do what do they say if uh 
Okay, no, it doesn't look like their dialogue changes. All right, Eastern exit, let's go. So yeah, like I said, I got up to the last campfire, so I already know kind of, I mean, it wasn't a whole lot of stuff. I just know where some of the secrets are already because I found them my, during the first time. Uh, save. Banshee's Whale. I want to make sure I keep that brisk save. <laughs> Greetings, adventurers. Seek you passage across these waters? I don't remember what voice I used for him. Then show me your color colored flame or leave this place in shame. Well, shame it is then. Okay. And over here is a solstice shrine, which I don't believe we can get into. I believe, yeah, it requires some, it has these same stumps, so it requires some kind of ability we don't have yet. So let's go back. And we have a fishing spot. All right. Cast kick. Nope. Man, you are really difficult. You're making this very difficult. Okay, there we go. We got a spectral eel. I will fillet it. Kick. Oh my, okay, going that way. Nope, you're not jumping up that easily. Bone Pike. And where's the last one I need? I don't know if I caught the right one. This might be another Bone Pike, yeah. Now I want um that one. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there we go. Caught a ghost sturgeon. And I'm good. I don't believe there was anything on the side of the lake. The cursed woods. Alright, let's see if I can actually remember where these secrets are. There was one... There were a couple. Wait a minute. Hiya! Nope. Okay. Uh... Skills. Moonarang on that one. Might as well get this out of the way. So cool. Okay, vulnerable to moon. Got it. Um, what's your health looking like? You could probably be killed. Ooh, one. Okay. And then you, like, rock it. Yeah. Nope. Oh, I blocked it. Heck yeah. I, <laughs> I actually thought I was going to be too late on that one. Um, we'll boost... Get your health down. And we'll have you attack just so we can get the combo. And then we'll do a uh, boosted Solstice Strike, and that should take care of you. Sweet.
I forgot that the, the rocket is their boosted attack. Uh, okay. Manor Lucent. Okay. So we'll save here. can't get up here. The vines are blocking the way. Brambles are blocking the way. We should find their source. Hey, yeah. Okay, um... Attack... That one. No. Got it. And then we'll do a boosted Moonerang. Get you. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um... What are you looking at? Uh, kill you. Is that a, yeah, that'll give us a combo. Ow. Holy crap. That was bad. Okay, um, actually have you attack so you can get some MP back. That was strange. Okay, good to know that it can, why did it move? Um, and then, you know what, we can do a, another double boosted Solstice Strike to get some even more MP out of this. Um, combo, Solstice Strike on this guy. Perfect. Bramble's gone. I don't want to say there was... Maybe it wasn't over here. Maybe it was somewhere else. All right, onwards. But I actually think the secret that I'm thinking of is right after this branch, this like bridge. It's like, I'll find it eventually. It's somewhere. Turn around. Oh, well then. Attack you. Ow. Gosh darn it. Okay, um... Oh boy. No! Blocked it. Oh, but that is bad. Okay, um... I'm gonna have to nourish... You. Perfect. Ow. Thank goodness, it, <laughs> thank goodness it was against him. Um, how many do we have? Two. Uh, you're going to use healing light on yourself. Locked it, heck yeah. Um, and then attack. I want to do a fully boosted Moonerang. Skills. 
Moonerang on that one. Oh boy, this is gonna be weird with the one up top. Ah, okay. So that kind of worked. Um, attack. Yeah. Uh, you only have seven health left. You should attack it. And then you should nourish yourself again. Uh, yeah. And then we can do a combo move. Combo, bash drop. Actually, it would be it would make more sense to do a combo with uh, you. This is vulnerable to moon. So we'll just do a. Oh, okay, yeah. We'll just do a bash drop on it. Sweet, okay. Just checking to make sure I'm not missing any secrets from last time. What the heck? Oh. Somehow I missed that it had seen me. Okay, well, we have a classic um, lock right here. Oh boy. Oh, I didn't know that's who you were aiming at. Got it, all right. Got a combo off, okay. Um, and then attack. Might as well end him. Okay, uh... Let's... Do a boosted Moonerang. I don't remember if you're vulnerable or not, but I guess it doesn't matter. going. That was awesome. Okay. Uh, 43 and 6. Might as well attack. Get rid of you. Ah, dang it. And then... I'll do a sunball. I should have done a solstice strike probably, but it's fine. There was no safe point here, okay. I know for a fact there was something. Was it after this one? Yeah, it was here. Oh. I forgot about this. Hiya. Okay. Wow, this was not a good idea to... I should have healed first. Um, skills. Nourish. Valir. And then we'll just do... They're vulnerable to moon. Well, are they vulnerable to sun as well? 
I don't have a Sunball. And I don't have Moonring either. Shoot. Um, in that case, I'm thinking maybe a boosted Crescent Arc. And then... Do that. Oh boy. Is this the rocket one? Nope. Blocked it. Ah. Did it too soon. Okay, um. I need to get some of your stuff up. No, I'm actually gonna use you to attack. And then follow up. Actually, no. I'm gonna use you to attack. And then I'm going to fully boost you and attack. Okay, that was about half health, not terrible. Oh boy. Blocked it. Okay, needed that. Um. You could use the MP right now. Blocked it. Man, they really want her dead. Okay, uh, we're gonna go ahead and combo with a Solstice Strike to deal some MP, and then we're good. And we have a rainbow conch. And I'm going to really quick heal. Uh, let's see. 50 HP, 60. We'll do the 51 on you. And we'll be okay. Was it trying to hit me or something? Boom. All right, well, you're surrounded. Oh, that's no fun. All right, well, I need to attack. I'm only gonna be able to break one of them. We'll do that one, I guess. And then we'll do another boosted Moonerang on that one. That way I can try to get all three as much as possible. Oh, well, that didn't go well. Yeah, I know. It sucks. I don't want to get rid of you because you're going to be good for, like, a sunball. Do you attack the last person that attacked you? I'm very curious about that. This is so inconvenient. Oh my gosh. Um, oh, I didn't realize you had one turn left. Great. Okay. <laughs> um, you are going to... N oh, no, wait. No, you're not. Alright, got that off. Uh, now you're going to nourish yourself. Garl again, really? You really have it out for Carl. Holy crap. Okay, um... Alright, that's slightly better. Uh, um... I have enough of Moonerang. So let's go ahead and attack that one. Blocked it. Blocked it. And now, 
Yeah, okay. Uh, skills. Moonerang. On you. Oh, I got him. Uh, I have max combo. I should really use one. Uh, which is gonna be... Some Bash Drop. Probably should have done Mending Light, but it's fine. Oh, I couldn't have. I couldn't have done Mending Light. Never mind. Alright, we already did that. Okay, so yeah, this is as far as I had played previously. So we'll go ahead and set up camp. I need more, like, lighter heal stuff. I have 8 out of 10. Let's just do... Another herb filet. So if the villager went into the cursed woods, does that mean that the dweller's lair is, al is also north of Lucent? I hope we're not too late. All right, so let us save. Actually, it's not because we need to. We should rest first. And now we will. Overwrite this save data. Okay, so everything past this point, I have I have not seen. So, yeah, we will just go from here, I guess. All right, so we have multiple. Looks like we might have multiple sources of uh, thorns now. Let's start over here. Still keeping an eye out for any secrets that might come my way. Uh, yeah. Dang it. Oh my, that's a lot. Okay. Um. Hmm. All right. Well, you're just gonna use a group. I do want to break the lock though, just so. I have it. Just so I can build up that combo bar. Dang it. Let's go ahead and boost that Moonerang. There we go. up on that one. Ah, gosh darn it. Okay. Um, let's... I actually kind of want to... What is everyone at right now? 14? I'd actually love to hurl you into a more advantageous position. That works out beautifully for me. Got it. See, this sucks because I really want to kill the other thing. Um, but I have to use this to try and break the lock as much as I can. So I have the combo now. Blocked that. Blocked that. And then... You need healing badly, and there's two attacks coming up. Actually, if I boost, with any luck, you can get rid of him completely. Heck yeah, okay. Blocked it. 
and then... Yeah. Because I want to use Solar Rain. Two, two, three. Okay, we have enough time. So I want to use you to nourish yourself. And then I want to combo Solar Rain on everyone. Heck yeah. And we leveled up. Okay, physical attack uh, for this or physical defense. We're not getting a mana point. Uh, I want a mana point this turn. That way we, have, we get two things of Moonerang if we want. Physical defense, magic defense. Um... Oh, I love how the lights at the bottom change, depending on what you have highlighted. Let's do magic defense. And then you. You're so beefy right now. Magic attack, you don't really do... I mean, I guess... Does magic attack determine how much healing you get, you do? Let's boost magic attack just to make sure his healing capabilities stay on par throughout the game. Of course, yeah, that's that's just me making the assumption that found a bone armor. Now the question is, do I want it would give me plus seven physical defense, minus eight magical defense. You already have bone armor, and I don't believe you can wear bone armor. No, I should have sold the minor smock. Whoops. Um, hmm. Oh my. He's just zooming all over the place. Okay. But I do have extra bone armor in case I want to put Valir on that. We are dealing with more physical than magical, but something tells me magic's gonna come to play big time with the, uh, other thing, so... Here, let's go ahead and save. Actually, let's heal. I do like how there seems to be an abundance of, like... Whenever you deal with a big, um... Group of, like, encounters, there's always a campfire close by so you can heal afterwards. All right, and then let's go to the left and see what that has in store. Nothing over here. Okay. Can't go that way yet. Keeping an eye out for any and all secrets. Yeah, this seems like a big arena, looks like. Uh, there we go. Oh my gosh. Um, and this, I think that's all I can do is fully get rid of yours. So let's attack. That one. Because I don't have a group slashing. Ow. How did... Was he getting both of those? Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, and then... Skills Crescent Arc. And yeah. Yeah. 
Oh boy, please be on Garl. Okay. Okay, blocked it, which is good. Um, all right, let's just get rid of you. Okay, this is good, this is good. It's doing the same things. This will be an easy combo. And then we'll use a single boost. We have a double. Oh boy. Ow, oh my god. And of course, Garl is down, so I can't use Solar Rain. Hmm. Oh, and you have one turn! Wait, you have one turn. You've got to be kidding me. Vulnerable to Sun, which is good. Blocked it. Max combo. Um, oh, man. Uh, what is everyone's health at? Kind of high. Um... And I don't have a way to heal at the moment. Grawl will come back next turn, but I don't know if I'm guaranteed to survive. Yeah, you know what? Let's use Mending Light instead. Restores HP to all allies. Um, Grawl won't get the effects, but he's going to come back with half health anyway, so... There we go. Okay. Blocked it. Heck yeah, girl. Okay, we're back in it. Um, can't use Solar Rain, unfortunately, but... Uh, you're all vulnerable to Sun. Which I can't take advantage of right now. Oh, wait, yeah, I can. Attack. That one. Yeah. And then... Let's do Moonerang. See if I can kill this guy before... Oh, I should have... Dang it. Oh well, I should have used Souls to Strike, but it's fine. The good thing is, I can still heal. I don't have- I didn't use any magic items for that. Or not just magic items, but items in general. Obsidian ore, heck yeah, more money for us. Let's heal before doing anything with that. And then we have this up here. This looks important because it has the different colored torches. Ooh. A shimmering shard. What does that do? Increases damage dealt to undead by 15%. Yeah, okay. Uh, I believe Garl has an empty thing. Yeah, we can do that. He's going to deal the most damage with his fists anyway, so... I am down for that. Although, actually... Most of the time it ends up being Zael or Valir that deals damage to the undead because the zombies get their locks a lot. Like, they probably have locks the most frequently, so... 
it might be better. Yeah, I think I might give you the, um... Just temporarily. The Shimmering Shard. And then we'll have you have Green Leaf temporarily. We'll give, just give, make you so beefy. So much health. Alright, I think we're getting close to the manor, so let's get going. There's something over here. No. Upload successful. Click here to view previous files. Have a pleasant day.